Hey everyone, in today's video we take a look at the Mission Workshop Speedwell, a 20 litre backpack built for the trail but can be used in urban environments. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ed from Rush Faster, we do guides, we do walkthroughs on better gear and better ways to carry. So if you like what you see, you're interested in this sort of content, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell and also subscribing to our newsletter. Let's dive in and check out the Mission Workshop Speedwell. Now the Speedwell was initially released in mid 2021 as a collaboration project with ASP After School Projects. And it came in a number of funky colorways with tie dye to reflect that sort of brand collaboration. But now it's been re-released in more traditional Mission Workshop colorways and as a regular backpack in Mission Workshop's lineup. Now this is our first foray into Mission Workshop and hopefully not the last. If you'd like to see more from Mission Workshop, let us know in the comments below. Okay, so first thing, the material materials of the bag. The Speedwell comes with Dimension Polyans X-Pack fabric. So if you get the black, the gray, or the yellow colorways, that's a VX21 X-Pack. And if you get the bolder orange colorway, you're actually getting a VX25 X-Pack. Now, if you get the multi-cam or the black camo colorways, that comes in a 500 denier Cordura. As for other pieces of hardware, we've got Fidlock buckles, as well as plastic hardware, and then we've also got YKK water resistant zippers. Okay, so taking a look at the exterior of the bag, obviously you can see this flat top closure here, which is secured down by this Fidlock buckle. We'll take a look at that later when we look at compartments. On the sides of the bag, we've got these mesh water bottle pockets, which are quite large, and they're secured down by these cinch toggles. These pockets will fit a 32 ounce Nalgene, no problems there, and then you can cinch it down to keep it secure. Just above that, we have a compression strap here, so it's simple, just plastic buckle with some elastic webbing to keep that nice and tidy. You can cinch that down to keep your bag compact, especially when you're on the trail. You can also use this to secure down any taller items that you're storing inside this water bottle pocket. So maybe it's taller water bottles, maybe it's some camera equipment, for whatever reason you're carrying a tripod or anything like that, you can secure it down with this little compression strap. And one small thing to note, in terms of branding, we've got a little brand tag there on the side of the bag. Now on the other side, we've got the exact same thing going on here. We've got the water bottle pocket with the compression strap. You can use this to store maybe sunglasses, maybe some knickknacks or doodads, whatever you want, you can just store that inside there. Because one thing to keep in mind this bag does have compatibility for a hydration bladder so you might not necessarily need to store water bottles inside these pockets now just another small little thing at the bottom of the bag here we've got a little loop tag here that you can attach on any gear maybe a bike light maybe a carabiner climbing shoes whatever you want you can just hook that into that little loop there now if we go to the back of the bag we've got a harness system mission workshop have worked really hard to design this harness system because this bag is designed for the trail we've got lightweight but heavy heavily padded curved shoulder straps here and you can see that sort of honeycomb EVA foam padding there really comfortable really soft and plush and also very breathable and you can see there's these little loops here that you can attach accessories on or you can use to direct your hydration tube we'll take a look at that later then further below we've got an adjustable sternum strap really simple plastic sternum strap has elastic webbing to keep it nice and clean and just underneath the sternum strap clips we've got a hydration tube clip that you can use to secure down your tube so it's not flapping around when you're hiking. And then we've got simple plastic ladder locks here at the bottom. Now we take a better look at the back panel. We've got that same honeycomb padding here. So very nice and breathable, comfortable and will flex and contour to your body. Just underneath this padding here, if we just lift it up there, you can see that there is a bit of space there. You could use this as a luggage pass-through if you wanted to. If you're taking this bag traveling for whatever reason, you can use this as a luggage pass-through. But this is just meant to be a suspended harness system so that it adjusts and flex to your body. And then behind here, we've actually got a carbon frame here. So there's a good amount of flex and rigidity for your back panel. Not only that, this provides a decent amount of breathability so that you don't have as much of a sweaty back as possible. But if we come back to the back panel, we've got the honeycomb padding here, but then at this this area here, the lower lumbar area, we've actually got much more firm and dense padding here 
for that lower lumbar support. And you can see it's actually quite a big area around the waist to give that support there. So if we actually take a look at the front of the bag, you can see that back panel actually goes beyond the base of the bag. So it's really trying to support that lower back area for you. Not only that, but if we flip the wing back, we can actually see these four clips here that you can attach on certain straps to. So you can see the shoulder straps are attached on the lowest one here. And that's just by simply using a Velcro hook and loop closure. But because of the bag is designed to be used on the trail it actually comes with a adjustable waist belt so this is a simple waist belt that uses a hook and loop closure just like the shoulder straps and you have different areas where you can attach the waist belt based upon where it's most comfortable on your body so once you figure that out you figure out which length the waist belt best fits on you you can just set that up very simply and have some waist support for better stability so all you need to do is grab the hook and loop velcro feed that through stick it on and then secure it down and then you've got one side of your waist belt you do that for the other side and once you do that for the other side we've got a simple waist belt here plastic buckle and then we've also got strap management with those elastic webbings. Not only that, but if you don't want to use a waist belt and you're never really going to use a waist belt, you still have that flexibility to adjust where your shoulder strap ends around your waist so it doesn't chafe against you or anything like that. You can actually adjust this on these different points of adjustment. At the very top of the bag, we've got a simple nylon grab handle. You can use this to hang the bag off any hooks and just carry it from the top. Okay, so let's take a look at the compartments of the bag. We've got this front compartment here, a small little compartment that has a decent amount of volume for your little tools, knickknacks, and things like that. You can see we've got a YKK water resistant zipper with that PU coating. Inside here is just a quick stash space for all of those little bits and pieces. I've got a little loom cube here. I've got a pair of binoculars from Knox Provisions. I've got a little torch from Olight and then some other multi-tools from Big Eye Design. This is the adjustable wrench and also the pocket pen. Then inside we've got this elasticated key leash which you can attach your keys to. So I've got my Orbit key there very small little clip for your keys. And that's all we have inside this compartment here. Now getting into the main compartment, we've got this fid lock closure to secure down that flap top. All you need to do is pull up this magnetic toggle and then that releases it. And you can see there's some strap management there to keep that strap slack nice and tidy, especially when you're closing it down compact, you've got a lot more strap to take care of. But just before we get into the main compartment, we've got another small compartment here. And this is good for securing some more delicate items that you want to keep away from a crush zone because it is a fairly shallow compartment, only using about this much dimension in the bag. So here I've got my Master and Dynamic MW08s. I've also got my Oz Air face mask, as well as a Bellroy flip case for all my cards, and then my iPhone 12 in a moment case. So fairly flat items there, and you want to keep that nice and safe away from any crush zones. Now let's take a look into the main compartment. Now hopefully you can see inside that main big bucket cavity there. We've got a nice lightly gray colored, slightly reflective ripstop internal lining inside there. And hopefully you can see this little tab made in the USA. But if we just take a few items out of that big cavity there, I've just got an Arcteryx wind jacket, as well as a boundary supply port kit for all my small little tools and other tech accessories. And then down at the bottom, I've got a Zorali cozy camp fleece, just in case it gets a bit cold. So that's all we've got inside that main bucket compartment, but we've also got a zippered laptop compartment that can secure up to a 16 inch MacBook. So over here, we've got that little zippered compartment that closes up your laptop. It's nicely padded. It is suspended from the base of the bag, so you will have protection for your laptop. And so even though that this bag is angled towards hiking, towards those longer trails, you can use this bag as a urban commuter and use it to carry your laptop and other goodies. Now, last but not least, we have our hydration bladder compartment here. So this is again, another PU coated YKK zipper. It has one zipper and it goes all the way around the back panel here. And it gives us a nice clamshell visibility for our hydration bladder. It makes it really easy for installation as well. So if we go ahead and grab our hydration bladder. This is a Hydroplac Forge 3 liter. It's a really good water bladder. At the top here, we've got a little bit of Velcro hook and loop that you can use to secure that hydration bladder and keep it suspended. Nice and so. There's no water in here just for demonstration purposes. And then behind that little liner there, we've got these little holes ports that actually go into those shoulder straps. So if I just demonstrate for you now, port that tubing through and that goes through the shoulder strap like so. 
we zip this up. As you can see, this sort of porting is available on both shoulder straps, so it totally depends on which side you prefer your hydration tube to go through. You can pass it through this little loop here as well, just to direct it a bit better. And then as mentioned, we have those little clips here to just secure down that tube so it doesn't flap around when you're moving about. So you have nice quick access and it's nice and secure on the shoulder strap. You can have access to hydration. Okay, so let's put this bag to the true test. Let's conduct the rush faster beer capacity test to see how many Timmy six packs can fit inside this 20 liter bag. So we can't fit them side by side, so we're gonna to have to fit them on top of each other. We might not be able to fit four actually. So as you can see, we've got four inside the bucket space, but we won't be able to secure that down, I don't think, completely. Yeah. So that little fidlock closure won't be able to reach that little clip there. So we can't fit four tinny six packs in there securely, but if you did disassemble one of these tinny six packs and then you fit the rest of the cans in the side there, as well as these side pockets and this small little compartment, you would definitely be able to fit the amount of six tinny six packs, just not in their current constructed form. Okay, so this is the bag on the body for your reference. I'm 5'10". Well, that is the Speedwell from Mission Workshop. It is a durable 20 liter bag with a good focus on hydration and a really comfortable harness system for the trail. Also can be used as an urban commuter as well. If you're interested in getting this bag or anything else that you've seen in this video, there are affiliate links in the description below. And if you use any of those links, they go a long way to support the work that we do here on the channel at no extra cost to you. And if you wanna support us further, you can hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe to the channel, and also subscribe to the newsletter. But most of all, we'd love to hear from you. What do you think about this bag? What do you think about that focus on hydration? And would you like to see us do more videos on Mission Workshop? Let us know in the comments below. As always, if you wanna see more videos from us, check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the Speedwell from Mission Workshop. Take care, and we'll see you next time.